Shoot him. He did. Oh, hi, Freddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yeah! <laughs> What up y'all and welcome back to another one. Today, today, today y'all, we're going on a little farm pond hunt. We've hunted this pond one time together and it was on the cheapest Walmart duck call challenge. That day Fred went, uh, me and Jordan crushed them. We crushed our limit with the Walmart call and it was amazing. But today, today's a little bit different. Today, I'm going with three other people. There's four of us today total and old Frederick, but I'm taking the farmer, his dad, and his brother-in-law. Now you've met the farmer one time, his name's Andy. He's the one that I went on his property. We took the Sherp all the way through his pivots and his cornfields and checked them all out. That guy, one of my good buddies. So we're all four going out today. I got all the decoys that we'll ever need loaded up. There's geese and ducks using this pond. Checked it yesterday, about 50 geese, 100 ducks. But today we are supposed to get a massive warm up. It's supposed to get up to like 71 degrees today and then go right back down. This Kansas weather just is doing this. These birds aren't gonna know what to do. But real quick, check out the Max 5 hoodies. We got them in, they are available, they're in stock. You guys have been messaging me saying, Bob, when are the Max 5 hoodies gonna be back in stock? Well, they're available. I will link them down in the description below. All of our other camo hoodies are in stock as well. So go over there and check them out if you're needing a new camo hoodie for this hunting season. But it's going to be a laid back little hunt. This farm pond, uh, it's a jewel. Uh, up until I hunted it the last time about a week, week and a half ago, I had dreamed of hunting it for about 10 years. So uh, my buddy Andy that owns it, big shout out to him. We're about to have a great morning. This pond is amazing. Now guys, today isn't a Walmart challenge. Today isn't a 20 gauge challenge, 410. This is gonna be one of them hunts where it's gonna be laid back, it's gonna be chill, and it's gonna be important to me. Me and Andy, we've never hunted together. So taking the farmer hunting, that's what today is. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. I, I really like doing the challenges, you know? But every single video, I don't like every single video being challenges. You guys like them, they get great views, but this is a duck hunting channel. And some of these videos are gonna be just like this. We're gonna go out, we're gonna shoot some ducks, we're gonna come home, we're gonna clean them. So these are the hunts that Fred really gets to work. These are the hunts that built the channel. I hope you guys like them. Oh boy, what a beautiful morning this is. Down here on Andy's little farm pond. What do you think, dude? You ready? Huh? Fred, heel. Heel, right here. Good. Sit. We just had a mallard land about 10 foot from Andy's feet. Fred broke and tried to go get him. Oh, boy. Well, one just landed on the right. If you have a shot, you go ahead and smoke him over there. <laughs> there you go. Nice shot. Want to shoot him? He did. <laughs> that was a long shooter there. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's a green head down though. Nice. Good job, Fred. Oh, it's getting real shallow out there. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's not even belly deep on Fred. I'll be darn. Good boy here. That's a big old dude. Did you hit him or did I? I think you did, didn't you? I, think you got it. I did? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. First green head on the ground. Whoa. <laughs> Last time I found they didn't like a lot of calling down in here. They just, they did it best when I was quiet as hell, but there was a lot more wind too, so. I hear them. Sit. Oh, up top. Up top. Is 
this dog, I'm telling you. He is so anxious, he can't even see straight. Calm down, buddy. You've retrieved three birds. You're going to get some more. Chill out. Awesome little pond, though. This pond is a beaut. They love that over by you. <laughs> he did it right in front of you, dude. He was so, I was so late seeing him, I didn't even see him. <laughs> I didn't either. Andy just clapped that bad boy. I barely seen him. I tried to turn on the camera and he was dead before he even hit the water. It looked like he would, though. Here, Fred. I think it's something different. It's got white. Hey, Fred. That's a there's, widgeon. There's so many different birds. Hey, Fred. Down here. Sit. That was nice. Yeah, that was sweet. That's a good looking widgeon, dude. This pond has some good looking birds down yeah, here. It does. It does. Come on, Fred. Come on. No, we had. That good boy. You've retrieved all four birds, buddy. That's a good boy. Let's shoot him. Oh, oh, I'm in the trees. I can't get anywhere. That was like the third time they came and looked. I was like, yeah. Yep, it's either going to be a yay or nay. You just got to pop them when you can. <laughs> You sucker. Well, we just had a mallard land down yonder. We got no wind today. We got no motion. No movement in the water. Today I need a jerk rig. <laughs> Andy's like, I am not waiting. <laughs> we, had a, we had a mallard land way down yonder on us. Andy went and hunted down him a wabbit. <laughs> Shoot him. Nice shot. Nope, Fred, I got him on the Fred. Well, I had to chain him down. He's been breaking too bad, so. Federal ammo. That federal ammo's killing him. Oh, he's on the other side. Look, Fred, he's like, I'm getting him. Oh, he might have to swat him. Yeah, he... Fred, he's not in there, dude. He's in a different part. Fred, here. They will. Well, we gotta go find us a bird. Fred, here. Let's go. Over here. Let's go. We got a dead bird in here, Fred. You gotta find it. There's a green head in here, boy. Find him. There's a feather. He probably dove on us. Oh, uh, hold on a minute. Oh, he dove again. He's right there. There he is. Dead bird. Good boy. Oh, sharpshooter down here. Oh, Andy, the smacking farmer you are. God dang. I pulled up on like two birds. Right when I go to pull the trigger, bloop. <laughs> no, I didn't shoot there. That was all you. Woo. I'm too fat for that. It's getting very deep. Yeah, it gets deep out there. Hmm. What are you thinking about that cord around the tree, huh? It's for his own good. He's broke one too many, two too many times already this morning. I'm not liking it. It's getting frustrating. Uh, we'll pull up, we'll, we'll shoot, we'll miss a bird. And Fred, there he goes, 100 foot out, you know, and I'm screaming at him. Uh, one thing, I need to get him uh, collar conditioned. And then the second thing, I know I've been saying that, I need to get him on a whistle. So I'm not going, Fred, Fred, just yelling my lungs out like a dummy. But we got him on the cord now. This is good for him. He yanked his neck a little bit last time, but it's still good for him. Good for him to learn. And it's safer for him. That's, that's one thing. Sit. <laughs> we suck again! <laughs> at the widgeon. Right at Andy's feet. <laughs> Here, Fred. Here, Fred. Here, Fred. Fred, go, Fred. Dead bird. There he sees him. Oh, he's gonna do some chase, and you got a diver on your hands, Fred. You got a diver. <laughs> this is gonna be the cat and mouse game. 
Where's he at, Brett? Oh, there he is. Good, Good boy. Good Here. Come on. That's another good looking widge, and look at the cotton top on him. Give. Nice He's really nice, just nice. like the last Super one. Nice one. Good looking bird, Fred. Come on, Freddy. He's a good little that young boy. Really well. Yeah, that one was nice. Oh, Andy, he just downed a bird way out there. Come on, Fred. Yeah, look, he's walking all the way back. <laughs> it's really not deep. That's nice. Good boy. That, that's a good looking boy. There you go, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah! Yeah! Well, that was a shot. <laughs> that federal ammo, baby! <laughs> I gave uh, Andy some federal ammo, and he's like, dude, this stuff bangs. It does. That was a, I mean, that was a 45 yarder. He, he was way up there. Good boy. Oh, yeah, it's a stud. That's a, that is an absolute stud muffin right there. Well, I'm out here stirring up some water. It's getting late in the morning, but these mallards that are coming, man, they're giving it up. I wish I would have brought my jerk rig, though. It would have been real helpful. If you guys want to see a homemade jerk rig, drop a comment down below. Let me know. Shoot him. He did. Yeah. Dude, I had to get in front of him about three foot. I had to, I had to get through trees. <laughs> Wait, you were shooting through trees? No, dead bird. Dead bird. This is where Fred, let's see if he'll pick up a honker. Come on, here. Good boy. He's not, he's not, he don't have the confidence yet. Good, no, no, no. Dead bird. Dead bird, here. Here. Good. Good boy. There we go. Good. Good boy. Dead bird. Dead bird. Here. Good boy. Give. That's a honker, Fred. Good job. That's a big boy. No band on him. Good boy, Fred. Now we got to build his confidence. Here, buddy. Come on. Here. Good. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Yes. That's his first time fully retrieving a honker. That's a good boy. I remember when we went to North Dakota, he just didn't have the confidence, you know? It's heavy, you feel that weight pulling up, you go, ooh, what's that, you know? He did it. I've never had one of that. Man, that pond, that is a beauty. And I remember staring at it back when I was young and just drooling over it. <laughs> Well, just driving out of the field here. Driving straight through the middle of a planted wheat field. <laughs> yeah, don't ever do that unless you're with the farmer, pretty much. Andy and his dad are two of the most genuine guys I've probably ever met. That was an awesome hunt. Um, as you guys seen, I'm not gonna go throw a camera in either of their face. They're, they're not there for that. They're there to duck hunt. And uh, they allowed me to come along and sit the spread and bring my decoys and my dog and my cameras and make my own video um, that was special uh, Andy's dad that was actually his first time getting out duck hunting in 20 years how cool is that I am honored to be a part of it and to help provide it you know what I mean but like I said on almost every single video this year it's different I'm loving my small hunts. You guys have been loving these small hunts. The two, the three, the four man hunts, even the solo hunts, you guys have been liking. I've been enjoying them a lot more than the big 10 man, eight man hunts, that's for sure. Don't get me wrong, there's a place and time for big hunts, but these smaller hunts like this, it just seems like better memories are made. It's not so stressful. It's not as much work, that's for sure. And Fred, he works better on these small hunts. Seems like the more barrels, the more guns that are going off, the more people, Fred's not getting trained as well as he could be. So today was a great hunt. Uh, leashing Fred to that tree was amazing. Uh, on the last two ducks that we shot, I actually had him off the leash and 
his brain was telling him I'm still leashed I'm not gonna move and I'm not gonna break so these small hunts I'm really appreciating them I appreciate Andy and his dad for letting me hunt <sighs> awesome little hunts y'all I'm telling you oh Freddy oh Freddy oh come on buddy come on oh Frederick what a good boy he did a great today I'm telling you it's got me pumped up he's doing awesome you know back when I got Fred um, he looked horrible if a lot of you can remember here's the picture check him out um, a lot of you were there for that maybe some of you weren't a lot of you are new to the channel but the story with Fred I got him when he had parvo he was six months old actually like five months old and I got him from Nashville that was only six months ago he's came a long ways let me tell you oh Fred oh Fred are you ready are you ready yep you know what time it is there you go he's a hungry boy but check out my pile awesome little mix bag for myself today um beautiful beautiful birds here the last shot was at honker got a green head green head green head cotton top cotton top what a good looking little pile that is <sighs> but what an amazing little hunt today i am loving providing hunts for my buddies for their dads for anybody really i'm loving it this year providing these little duck hunts little goose hunts it's literally what it's all about this year if you guys are enjoying the videos if you guys enjoyed this video in particular smash the thumbs up button drop a comment down below let me know what you guys want to see uh, this video isn't as long as some of them you know what i mean but this video here i'm telling you that was a good little hunt that was awesome getting out with the farmer having three hours with the farmer and his dad how awesome is that but hit that little notification bell down there. It notifies when your boy uploads. And if you haven't checked out those Max 5 Ducks camo hoodies, I will link them down in the description below. Go pick one up. Help support the channel. But I'm going to get to cleaning my birds here. I appreciate you guys being here. But please subscribe. We'll see you all on the next one.